I'm Sean. I'm Adam. This is Sasquatch. On this show, we're going to be tracking every Bigfoot film that's been made and trying to find out if there is actually a good Bigfoot movie. We'll see how many we get through. A lot of them run into the same issues, and none of them have really ever seemed to hit the mark. But when I read about them, I'll see other people that will comment and they'll be like, of all the Bigfoot movies I've seen, and I've seen a lot, this one's actually not that bad. But we're going to go through and we're going to examine these films. We're not just going to be making fun of them. I'd say the focus of the show is going to be on Bigfoot horror films. And yeah, it's not I'm... that I don't want to cover non-horror films. It's more that I don't want to cover the documentaries because I don't want to sit through all of them. And we're not really interested in if Bigfoot exists. That's not the point of the show. If you're out here... I don't for... think he exists. <laughs> I don't think he exists either. Perhaps all you have to do is open your mind to your own personal alien or Bigfoot awakening and they will find you. The documentaries, I feel like, there, there isn't any new information. So the fact that there's so many of them and they keep happening, I just feel like there's not a whole lot to dig through there. Whereas with the movies, each movie is its own unique slice of imagination. And I am very curious to see how many of them really are really believe that Bigfoot exists and how many of them are just trying to satisfy that creature feature urge. What do you think it is? A bear? No. Sounds more like two legs and four. Could be a vagrant. What's that? It's basically like a homeless person. They go from town to town, sometimes breaking into people's homes. Uh, I've seen a lot of these films over the years, not all of them. Uh, Adam has seen the ones that I've shown him. Enough to be convinced that what we're looking for doesn't exist, but... Yeah, so Sean I, seems to think it's possible. I, I don't know that I think it's possible as much as I just feel this, this urge to find out for sure. You don't really believe in that crap, do you? Hundreds of people have reported sightings over the years. Hundreds of quacks. I kind of find these movies to be closer to the animal attack movies that you like to watch, which I think it's fair to say there's a distinction between those two. Um, yeah. I definitely I, think there's a distinction in quality between the two genres. I used to keep the Bigfoot movies in the killer animal shelf, but mm. I've since moved them onto a smaller shelf. That's just for Bigfoot? Just for Bigfoot. Uh, and as we go through the show, I'm sure I'll accumulate more on that shelf. I'm going to try and spend as little money as possible on the show. Sometimes you get the bear, sometimes it gets you. That's just how it goes. Probably the only interest I really have in this is that I, I love, uh, you know, folk tales and, and folklore and stuff like that. So Bigfoot appeals to me on that level. He's certainly not even close to my favorite of all of those things. But, um, you know, so building out the mythos of Bigfoot is interesting to me. You know, when it comes to something like vampires, you have obviously Dracula. That's an interesting point because, like, all of the other big folklore figures have like one or several like big movies like for werewolves there's the wolfman uh there's american werewolf in london the howling there's all kinds of you know options for you with mm -hmm. vampires it's like you never stop having options with yeah. zombies it's been it's the same way been exhausting how many zombie movies there are uh even the loch ness monster there's a couple of movies that exist for them. I don't know that any of those are good. They're probably on par with Bigfoot. Your little life that you love so dearly is about to become a feeding ground for a race of carnivorous prehistoric reptiles. Uh, is there anything that you're excited about us getting to on the show? Well, we did say that in each rotation of, of episodes that we're gonna do, that we're gonna do one movie that's different, that breaks the mold that's true. Of, of the others, be that a, uh, um, you know, something silly, you know, something for kids, maybe, you know, Littlefoot, I think that was a thing, or is it called? Yeah. Is that a thing? I could I see that. I think that was a thing, something like that. Harry and the Hendersons, I believe that'd probably be the only 
Oscar nominated. That's yes, that's true. Movie that we would possibly cover. The first film we're going to be covering on the show is the 2002 film Sasquatch, also known as The Untold. I would say within the Bigfoot community, it's a rather well-known movie. I feel like most people that have seen these movies have been like, oh yeah, I, I think a lot of people are like, I started there because I saw it on sci-fi. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the movies we'll cover that were made after 2002, I feel like this movie might have started some sort of shockwave of terrible Bigfoot movies because the numbers have gone up in recent years. There's more and more of them happening mm -hmm. every year. Uh, we should be covering about 60 movies, including the newer ones that are going to come out during the show. Um, so we've got a long track ahead of us, I would say. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how many we can... We're going to get them all. I think... All of them. Know. We're going to cover every Bigfoot movie, regardless <laughs> of if anyone watches the, the videos. I don't think that's... <laughs> that's not worth it at all. Yeah.